Okay, so here I want to show you how to actually um, pick an address that you'll be sending your test, your test BTCS or test SUSD, SUSDT to. Okay, so you just come to this address here, scan.test.btcs.network. Okay, this is where you come to. It will open this. When it opens this, you need an address of somebody that is sending transaction. Okay, how do you get the address? That's what you're doing here. So you come here, you can see all these latest blogs, blah, blah. And then you can see latest transactions. Okay, and you can see from this person to this person, from this address to this address. So that's how you get your your address that you can send test. The so device. So um, you can just open any of these latest transactions. Okay, just click on the transaction hash. Okay, when you click on the transaction hash. It will give you the details of the transaction. And when it gives you the details of the transaction, you can see this is an address, okay? From, no, 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 not from. This is the address from, okay? And this is the address to. So you can pick two addresses from here. Any of these addresses, you can pick this. When you copy it, then you now go to, um, let me open another tab so that I won't have to close this. Now go to here. Go to the first set. No, just come to you now come to your wallet. Okay. Say you want to send. Okay. And then paste that address here. That address that you just copied, paste it here. And so that you won't need to copy every time. You can now say add to address book and give it any name. Okay, and then save. So when next you want to when next you want to send, you can just pick this address from a list of addresses. Okay, it's very simple. So just do that. Okay, come here again. Come to browser. When you come to browser, type in scan.test.btcs.network. Okay, click on any of the latest transactions. Okay, copy any of these addresses here. And then go to your wallet. Say you want to send. Okay, say you want to send. Paste the address you just copied here. Yeah, and then make sure you add it to address book so that next time you won't need to copy your address. You can always have it appear in your address book. And then you say next and send to this address. So you will send your text transactions successfully. That's how to get an address to send text transactions to. Okay. So, yeah. All the best. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be adding my wallet address somewhere below this post so that if you want to send a text transaction to me, you can copy the address from there and send it. Good luck, guys.